Tomorrow is National Vietnam War Veterans Day, and there will be a ceremony at the Virginia War Memorial in downtown Richmond. But as Brendan King tells us, there is a new effort to make sure those stories of those soldiers are told every day of the year. Brendan joins us live now with that story. Hi, Brendan. Hey there, Cheryl. Good afternoon to you. Part of the mission here at the Virginia War Memorial is preserving history. Well, now they're asking for your help to start digging out those old photo albums. Decades of history line the walls at the Virginia War Memorial and etched in stone the names of nearly 1,500 Virginians who died during the Vietnam War. I was a son of a Vietnam veteran. I remember my dad's photo albums, kind of going through them and seeing these interesting pictures of him. Dr. Clay Mattcastle and his memorial staff plan to offer a face to the names through a new exhibit featuring 50 of the state's surviving Vietnam War veterans. And we'll take their candid photo and then we're going to have a professionally done portrait done of them now. And we'll have kind of the, the, the photo from Vietnam along with the professional portrait that we take of them now. The exhibit will open on January 27, 2023, the 50th anniversary of the signing of the Paris Peace Accords, marking the official end of the war. It's going to be part of a comprehensive exhibit that captures their images, it captures some of their stories. Uh, we'll be able to interview them and record some of their thoughts on, you know, just life as a Vietnam veteran over the hat over the past 50 years. Matt Castle says the Commonwealth is home to thousands of veterans, each with a story to tell. You never know when you're gonna be shot at. Most times you aren't getting shot at, but you never know. You never know. In the past, Memorial staff have interviewed countless Virginians who fought in Vietnam, veterans with stories of heroism. I took a round inside my engine and the engine decided it was going to quit. It gave me just enough time to get to the ground, and then it just stopped. Well, it's always scary when somebody's shooting at you. I was flying one day, and uh, the guy I was flying with got killed. Made it kind of personal. His name's up on the wall out there right now. The memorial will accept photos online and by mail until April 30th say that thank you that has been delayed in a lot of ways, uh, a bit of an overdue thank you to those that served in Vietnam. And our thank you goes to them as well. Well, Mount Castle tells me that they will accept photos from all surviving veterans from all branches of the military who served during the Vietnam War. If you missed any of my information, of the information about this exhibit, I posted it on our website, WTBR.com. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Brendan King, CBS 6 News.